so now we're here where you guys gonna get to see again this is where i actually edit everything but this is the ural that i'm gonna be using which is a youtube chat the youtube video that i uploaded last week and again, it adds, it has all these extra options if you want to add. So definitely I'm going to be adding an extra entry for this upcoming giveaway. So just stay tuned, but we're going to get YouTube comments. There's about 20. We're going to start the random winner right here. So we're going to start. Let's see who's the winner. <sighs> Angie Anti Love. I personally love to check readies and tutorials like this. There's something about just learning how to do it. Again, I love, love old school YouTube girl. I feel you. I am going to go ahead and contact you so we can go ahead and work out where you live and where should I ship everything. So again, congratulations to Angie Anti Love. And I can't wait for the next giveaway winner. So, again, keep on watching my videos and stay tuned because there's going to be plenty more. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying these type of videos, which is a series in my channel that I'm starting. And it's a one brand tutorial. It's on e.l.f. It's affordable. It's inexpensive. You can get it at Target. You can get it online. And I'm pretty sure you can also get it at Walmart. So, I'm super excited for this one because there's a lot of new products that I'm going to be using. And from that, I'm also going to be letting you guys know that there's two things that I do want to mention. is that foundation from e.l.f. I don't have. I thought I did have the e.l.f. foundation, which is why I was so so sure not to get it so that's one thing that i'm gonna be doing off camera and lashes i didn't know elf carries faux lashes which if i knew i would have gotten it but again it's fine i don't need more lashes i have like four full drawers of lashes that i'm still trying out from different brands from local small businesses the one that I'm going to be using for today is the one from the Strawberry Seat. It's a local small business from my dearest friend, Charette. And she has... Oh, I'm wearing the lashes. I was going to show you guys, but I'm wearing the lashes. She has great, great lashes. She sells great lashes. She sells wigs. She sells also hair accessories and accessories, which, by the way... I don't have it with me right now, but I have these sets of earrings that I got from her. I love them. I love staple bold earrings, something like this. So for me, it's a plus. So definitely go check her out. I'm going to link everything down below on her social media. And so you can just go see and her website so you guys can go see anything and purchase anything. Let's support small local businesses. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on today's video again. And for those of you that didn't win, it's okay. Because we have plenty more Fridays to go through. And many more giveaways to go through. So we're going to be doing a ELF Cosmetics giveaway. Now, like I did say, I want to add a little spice to it. So we're going to be doing a mystery box. At the end of the video, I'm going to be mentioning the rules and what you got to do. But just know it's a small mystery box of ELF. Follow the rules, that's all you gotta do, and you are in, and you're ready to go. Okay, so, without any further ado, and not making this video any longer, let's get to it and start this tutorial. So, I have a no makeup on, zero makeup, because we are starting from scratch, since I do have, for the most part, everything here. So, we're gonna start off with the brows, and I know Elf has these amazing, amazing, brow pencils and they look like this the packaging aren't like this okay so my brows are basically done i try not to do too much on it because again it's a brow pencil i like to do strokes of 
hair going up but one thing i do want to mention out there is that to always no matter what you're using no matter what primer you're using you have to moisturize your face doesn't matter with what you use but always moisturize your face because it's basically like a barrier between your pores and the makeup that you're going to be applying on top so you just want to make sure it doesn't clog up your pores this is a daily hydration moisturizer which i freaking freaking love so much and as you can see it's like basically done and i have to go get a new one at target tomorrow actually so i use a little bit to the face and make sure you go in there always try to be gentle with your face So next we're going to go ahead and use their, actually this is from their newest collection. This is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer, which by the way, I broke this. So we're going to go ahead and apply this on top because why not? So the next thing I'm going to do is have and apply primer on my eyelids i'm using the putty eye primer cream it's a crease and smudge proof for 12 hours so we're gonna go ahead and use one of their bite-sized eyeshadows i love their brushes it's super small it's like new it's like they're small but great for using it this is their brand branding this is their blending brush this is their detailer brush and then this is their all over shadow brush i believe so i could be wrong but the way i'm looking at them that's how i see it i want to use this palette so i'm going to be using this one i'm going to go ahead and apply it on the outer crease and just to the inner corner from the outer to the inner of the crease in circular motions and i'm gonna go ahead and wing it out a little bit and i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side now we're gonna go ahead and use more like a detailer brush and we're gonna go and use this darker brown now the reason why is because i want to put more depth into the eye so when i go in with that metallic green we're gonna go ahead and make that pop more so i'm just focusing this on the outer section like the corner of the outer eye and going into my crease a little bit just like that circular motions again and taking it out a little because I want to give it that effect that it has like a wingy eye so we're gonna go ahead and go back with the same brush that we used for earlier for the um, lighter brown and we're just gonna blend it all together so it can look seamless and we're gonna go ahead and grab again the same amount and apply it on the outer to the inner to the outer Again, making it that wingy effect. Now we're going to go ahead and use the minty color, which is this one right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and apply that with the old shader brush. So I'm going to be using their Dewy Setting Mist. I'm going to go ahead and spray it a little with this new Dewy Coconut Setting Mist from e.l.f. Oh, okay. And I just recently got this too. And you want to spray it and just apply, ooh, okay, on the eyelid. This looks so good. Oh my god. And what I like to do is with this, I like to add, not add any more product, but just go with the same brush that I use for that dark brown. 
and just blend out the edges the reason you want to do that is because you want everything to look very seamless and very blended out and then you just go back and retouch anything that you need to retouch and we're gonna go and do the same thing to the other eye with this one right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply that on our inner eye so this is basically the eye itself you're not it looks like you did so much to it but in reality you only use one whole palette I literally just use this whole palette so now that this is done we're gonna go ahead and do the foundation off camera now that the foundation is done we're gonna go ahead and conceal our face and now let me just tell you one thing my favorite favorite conceal concealer at the moment is my holy grail hands down 16 hour cameo concealer which is this one right here in the black tube i know they have the white one which is a hydrating concealer and i love this one no lie it's one of my favorite ones and this is basically like my fourth tube going on i'm gonna go to my fifth tube because i'm almost done with this but this one is one of my favorite favorite concealers that i use for the most part and since we're going to be trying one of their newest um flawless brightening concealers which is these right here i decided i'm going to use the darker shade to contour so this is another thing i love to get their concealers as a contouring because i feel like they don't budge once they dry down so this is how they look and we're going to be using these two so i'm going to be using using this one just for the inner just to brighten up the inner but a little bit below it it's going to be the darker shade because i don't want it to look super super light okay so i'm applying this just on the inner since it's a light shade and see how that goes and again this too on the inner because it's a light shade okay so i'm applying a little bit of a more darker shade underneath it because again i don't want this to be too 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 light So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and use their beauty sponge, which actually this is one of my favorite ones. This is the e.l.f. Um, beauty sponge. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and blend all of this out, just like that. Now that that's all blended out, I'm going to go ahead. It doesn't look that bad, actually. I really like it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and contour so I'm gonna be using this to contour the face and we're gonna just go ahead and blend this whole situation We're gonna go ahead and powder this up because again we want to make sure it doesn't budge i don't know how good those concealers can get i know this one back to it it's like the best one and i don't have a problem with that one so we're gonna be using the halo glow setting powder and this one is in the shade i don't even know what shade is this i'm gonna definitely link everything down below and this video is not sponsored once again i'm doing this because i really always enjoy seeing these type of videos so why not do them on my youtube video so we're gonna go ahead and apply this under the eye just setting it just like that and you just want to set it the reason why you want to set it is for the makeup not to budge so we're gonna do the same thing 
all over the place. I did get their putty, um, their putty blush is from the putty collection, the putty collection, okay, it's from their putty collection, and this is the Tahiti and the Bahamas, I'm not sure which one to go to for, because since I do have green, I feel like it's just, I feel like this one might go with it, to be honest, so we're gonna go ahead and use this, so this is how it looks, super cute, and I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna just use a sponge, you know, and see how it works with the sponge. We're gonna go ahead and go and use a uh, base duo, which is the bite size. Again, these are good. Their bite size formula are so, 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 so good. So I think it's something you guys should definitely try. It's very affordable, very inexpensive. It's literally like three or four bucks per little bite size so I think you guys should definitely check it out I think we're gonna go with watermelon no we're gonna go with lychee actually lychee looks like a beautiful set of color right here so we're gonna go ahead and use lychee which I want you guys to see how it looks it looks beautiful and it comes with a highlighter so that's an A plus Now that we're done with them, I'm we're almost done. We are almost almost done. But we're gonna be applying the Ride or Die lip balm and Tough Cookie. I've seen so many people using this, and I actually saw it from I Love Sarai. I don't know if you guys watch her. I love her and adore her. And she mentioned about this one, and I really really wanted to give it a try. So here we go. We're gonna give it a try and see how the lips look. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eye by adding the lashes. I'm using my friend's eyelashes, her small business, and these are her lashes. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply these on the eyes and I'm gonna get come back and tell you my final thoughts about everything and how I feel about this collection, the mint collection, because I have, I have to say something. And, but it's all good, it's all good. So I'll be back, I'll come back. So now that I finished applying the eyelashes, which by the way, they look so beautiful, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this look by adding the Dewy Setting Coconut Spray, and it smells like coconut, I'm not gonna lie. Mmm, okay, so I really like the smell of it, I love the smell of coconut, and in case you guys don't like fragrances or anything like that, just letting you know, this does smell like coconut, so just an FYI out there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and apply it all over the face and basically call it a night so overall i love a lot of the things and by the way there's things in here that i have not even touched and i grabbed a lot of things so i can create a look because i didn't know what look i was gonna do and again when i do these type of videos i don't go with an idea i just try and do whatever i can with whatever colors i have around me and stuff like that so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and before I end this video I want to let you guys know is that yes there is gonna be a giveaway so I didn't like how I only had one giveaway and I kind of want to do a giveaway in this series where um, it depends on when I end this the series that I do want to do another giveaway where you guys are gonna get elf products now I wanted to add a little spice to it a little little tiny spice because I don't I feel like it's gonna be more like exciting to know what you're gonna get at the end so I'm gonna reveal 
the little mini elf mystery box in the next video on what products you're going to be getting but i'm going to need your guys' help so I, I want you guys to mention two products two of your favorite products that you saw in this video that you would like to go ahead and try out and let's say in case i didn't test it out right here then i will go ahead and test out these because these are ones that i do want to try out in a separate video because i didn't have time to use it again the whole look i used was this one and there was no colors that i could use for this look so i decided that i'm going to go ahead and leave it up to you guys what you guys want to put in this mystery box like give me two of your favorite products whichever ones i choose i'm gonna let you guys know and i'm gonna make it into a bundle and the person will win this little mini mystery box so all you have to do and here are the rules please listen please please listen out here and i will have it down below too is you're gonna have to you have to subscribe to my channel one you have to like this video two and three just comment down below what two products you would like to have in that mystery box if in case you do win it just so i can have them in a box and they will be revealed on my next video when the winner is announced and finally the fourth one is just going to be simple. Just follow my Instagram, which is makeup underscore with underscore Ixel. And again, you're going to be updated there as well. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on my next one.